right, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. We had a few songs, like a ton of songs come through. And I'm only going to give you the first two, I think. Stone Sour Wicked Games came through again and Lost Without You by Freya Riding. So, it's like... Somehow you pretended to be there, but weren't, and they had to let you go. That's what I'm feeling. You weren't really there, but you were there, and then you lied about your feelings, about your beliefs. That's awful. Use the red deck I'm hearing to get over all tarot energy. And I've already shuffled these. So let's get going. Spirit, talk to me. Well, how are you working in this collective right now when it comes to overall tarot energy? How are you working? The Empress came out. The Empress. Very, very strong feminine energy. Very abundant. She is the Emperor's counterpart. They run an empire together. She's loving. She's the mother archetype. She's caring, giving, very benevolent. But she's careful that she doesn't give toxically. It looks like she's missing an earring. You might have a matching set of earrings that one of your favorite earrings is missing. She's dealing with some toxicity. She will not give to people that are toxic because she knows that it's pointless to give to somebody who's only going to take advantage of the giving. All right, Spirit, let's look at Sacred Destiny, Spirit says, and see what the virtues are that we're dealing with in this spread. We're dealing with a mother, grandmother, an older woman in your life. She's mature. This is, it doesn't have to be old. She doesn't have to be old in her age, but she has a wise old soul, no matter how old she is. And somebody needs forgiveness and to get into the flow. Something came out. We had quite a few come out, actually. I'm going to put them back. It's time to get into the flow. There's a transformation happening and flow. So there's some changes taking place here. This woman's making some changes. All right, Spirit, show us how you're working in the collective right now. Fulfillment. It's going to be fulfillment. Somebody's going forward to a new beginning when it comes to love. And that's what the songs were indicating, is that somebody's moving forward towards something new when it comes to their love and fulfillment, being fulfilled. Being at a place of ripeness, protection underneath of that, but in reverse. If you walk away from this situation, this person may no longer have the protection. Because sometimes when people mistreat you, you bring the protection with you. Alright, let's see what would come out of the energy oracle. I'm being led to go back to the energy oracle. And I see right now that there are some tarot cards in the wrong deck. They came from yesterday's reading, the exact same, well, day before yesterday. Remember Hall Buggy? It was those cards. I'm just going to take them out and put them in the right deck, and I'll shuffle that deck up if I use it. It was the Hall Buggy one, where Sagittarius, you were going to do like a Sagittarius in Hall Buggy. <laughs> but you were told to wait because you needed to have a strategy. But it looks like you're not, you've are you come up with a strategy of how you can move forward and have something new when it comes to love. So is, you're ready for something or someone new. You've had indecision because you felt like you couldn't do it. Or maybe you still have indecision. 
Spirit's trying to help you to move forward to something new when it comes to love so you can have your life fulfilled, so you can have abundance and you can realize, I can do this. I don't need to rely on other people to take care of me. I can and will take care of myself. All right. One more time. All right. There we go. Now, Spirit, what are you saying to the collective here when it comes to virtues? I mean, energy oracles, my bad. Somebody's halfway walking away. So, you're in the process of leaving a situation because you're tired of deceit. The deceit card came out in reverse. And I'm going to read to you what deceit means when it's in reverse. Number 25. <clears throat> Maybe you've been deceived by somebody in the past. Receiving this card reversed puts you on notice that the deceit of the past is over or about to end. Perhaps some enmity at work is being dissolved or maybe a more open communication has developed in your personal life. Be assured that the negative and dishonest energy is on its way out and take advantage of a new peaceful and open environment. One where you will be able to forge more success in greater comfort. On a deeper level, this card reversed is telling you the period of self-deceit is over. You are now ready to see the abiding truth of your own value, power, and deserving. It may take continued effort, but your honesty with yourself regarding these truths will bring even greater value into your life. So you're either being deceived or deceived. Um, you're, de you're either being deceived or were being deceived or have been deceiving yourself. Now, I want to pull a card on that to find out where this deceit is coming from. Because you're thinking about walking away. In fact, you're three quarters of the way out already. The nine of wands, you've been defensive. You've had walls up. It's a king of wands that's deceived you. You've been deceiving or have been deceived or have been deceiving yourself when it comes to somebody that you're very passionate about or that's very passionate about you. The king of wands is the king that the emperor goes to when it's time for war. And this king is not afraid to go into the enemy's territory and take back what belongs to the empire. We have the Seven of Wands, which is you. Hold on. The Seven of Wands is holding your ground. Somebody might have a big ego and seeing. You're trying to see the other person's point of view here, but you're not seeing it. Somehow, it's the King of Wands though that's been deceiving you. Clarify deceit. Clarify deceit with the strongest answers, please. Only Spirit guides, angels, and the Divine Holy Spirit can come through to give us answers. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. Giving lots but not getting back, and. It's about trimming down your lifestyle for a while. The Five of Pentacles is like, see how the church is behind them and they're outside of the church and they have light from the church lighting them up. But it's like they went here for help and couldn't get any. So somebody that you thought was going to help you deceived you or you deceived yourself. You may have thought you could get help here and it was like, <laughs> you ain't getting no help here. All right, why are they walking away, Spirit? Why are they thinking about walking away? You haven't quite decided. You're still halfway. You're sideways. You're still not sure. Should I walk away from this? I think deceit, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Knight of Wands. So somebody came towards you very passionately, probably just wanting sex from you or was planning on doing that. Why are you walking away? Good, strong answers only, please. Please, 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 please. No, bu no bullshit answers, please. Good, strong answers only. 
That's way too many cards. I'm not taking them. I want good, strong answers on for why this person is walking away. Why are they walking away, Spirit? Why are they thinking about walking away? Why are they considering walking away? Because you could have been deceiving yourself about thinking you could get help here. Because of the hermit. You're soul searching about walking away. That's why you haven't done it yet. Virgo is here. Capricorn's here. Taurus is here. Virgo is here twice. And then I have Capricorn here twice. So this is an earth sign. There's a lot of earth energy at work here. This is stuff that's going on in your day-to-day -day life. And then there's a page of wands. A playful, honest relationship. Learning a new skill or making an investment. <clears throat> So maybe you were planning on investing in this relationship and you realized that this person wasn't planning on doing anything for you. They weren't working with you. They were working against you. Now I want to pull cards on the Empress. But first I want to find out how this happened to this Empress. Alright, how did it happen to the Empress that she got involved in toxicity? If somebody came to her for help. And they may have been deceived into thinking that she would help because she doesn't work with hot, with um, hostilities. She doesn't work with deceit. This is an upright woman who only plays fair. She's not going to give you something if you're just going to take advantage of her time. She's just not. She knows her worth. She doesn't need that. How did this happen to this empress? She was cooking. Here we go again. She was cooking a meal or having someone cook one for her. What was being hidden? Because she doesn't typically do the cooking, but she may. She may have been making a pie from peaches or apples. But she had to do the dishes and she sent a picture to somebody. Somebody sent a picture to her while she was doing dishes and cooking. What was the picture about, Spirit? Why did this picture get sent? Because it was time for shit to get real. It's not that serious. And somebody was being an asshole. It's like they were being a pain in the butt. And you were looking deeper into this matter. And you're like, what they're doing is not that serious. But it's time for shit to get real here. Alright, why is it time for shit to get real? A lot of cards. Because love can hurt like hell. You're hot, smart, and you have a great ass. You want to spend time with somebody. You constantly have to watch what you say to this person. Alright, what's being shown? That somebody won't listen they're working out probably or working and want stuff to be different somebody wants things to be different all right what's going to happen next for this empress that's dealing with this they're going to unplug because they're irritated and one of you is doing too much too many chores it's like one of you does everything you do everything for this person and they never return the favor and you're finished. You're done with it. You're like, I'm not going to keep giving to you. Just say those five little words. And on the back it says, where do you want to eat? But on the front it says, bear your soul. Bear your effing soul. So it's like, I'm about to tell you how irritated I am that I'm the one who's always giving here. You never give back. You can't even pick up the phone and call me when I need you. You, you don't even answer my telephone calls. All right, show me a little further, please, Spirit, how this happened, that this Empress ended up in this toxic situation. There was a need for forgiveness and a divine intervention. Something happened that was a divine intervention, a divine detour, actually. It was fate for a divine detour. So all of this happened because it was fate. You were growing up, moving into your north node, and you were ready for forgiveness. It's like, it's time to put this stuff behind us. You're, this could be stuff that happened in the past, and they keep throwing it in your face. 
you're like, that's not who I am anymore. When I look in the mirror, I see somebody that's totally different. I'm grown, I've grown past that. I am way beyond that person. All right, show me how this happened, please. Oh, that flew out. Somebody was not getting the nurturing and compassion they needed from this relationship. All right, what was being hidden? That they couldn't make a decision. A decision about what? About whether or not this, there was a union, but it came out in reverse. So to me, it's like they need to make a decision about a union or to end one. What's being shown? That you want to take action because you've grown out of this relationship. You've outgrown this person. What's going to happen next? Okay. The truth is going to come out about how you remember how much you felt unworthy. You had a lot of self-worth problems. Like you had doubt of you. You didn't, you didn't feel like, you felt like your self-worth was attached to your expectations. Like if I don't do everything to keep this going, then it's not going to keep going. And this is the truth. Clarify the truth further. The truth is, is that in divine timing, you want to make an offer to somebody else. Because there's two, somebody here is very controlling. All right, if you like the short version, we can stop there for you. And I will pull you one of these. I'm only going to take one, and then you can cut out here, and I'll continue on to get more details for the rest of the collection. All right, so we have Free Spirit and White Sage for whoever likes the shorter version. And if you like the longer versions, I'm going to cut it in half. And we'll see how many people watch, opposed to how many don't. All right, daydreaming. Somebody is daydreaming. Daring dreamer and white sage. All right, spirit, show me one card that would go perfectly with this reading. Thank you so very much. All right, so you got one card. Actually, you got two, and I'll read them both. This is your short version, number 27. And it says this, Peonia, love who you are. You are now being blessed with prosperity, abundance, and creativity to enhance this time of joy and amplify your experience of being, to amplify your experience of grace, practice gratitude. Simply be happy for what you have and what is being given to you. The universe loves to keep on giving to those who are grateful and happy to receive and who give back to life with a heart full of gratitude and a positive attitude. This is such a healing time for you. The healer within is awakening and your ability to give and receive healing energy is becoming more powerful. Your soul connection to animals, plants, and crystals will support your healing and increase your energy to attract and create positive positive life situations for yourself and others. If you can listen to nature sounds alive and in the moment or through music, do that now. So music is a big thing for you. Close your eyes and really listen. Your soul can hear fairies speaking within the sounds of nature and they are whispering and singing of magic and beauty and grace to enter this world. Feel gratitude in your heart in the hearts of all beings. And then I got number nine, which is Rockstar. We haven't had that one in quite a while. Rockstar. You may have a subconscious fear of being judged or becoming the target of jealousy that causes you to shy away from the limelight. And we saw in yesterday's reading that somebody was being very judgmental because they felt like they had to do it all. And they didn't really have to do it all. They just felt that way. You may mistakenly believe that being in the spotlight means you're supposed to be perfect or better than everyone else. There's a higher purpose to standing apart from the crowd and being seen. Choose to accept the opportunities that make you more visible to others, trusting that you will shine your truth and integrity to make a positive and healing experience for yourself and others too. There's a light in you that wants and needs to be seen. 
a side of you that is bold, bright, and unique. Even if it's something different for you and you aren't sure how comfortable you're going to be on center stage, sometimes there's a higher purpose for you being placed in the spotlight. One purpose can be to develop self-acceptance and self-confidence. When you can rock your true self without having to tone it down, play it safe, or rein it in, you can become as comfortable in your own you can become so comfortable in your own skin that you no longer hide your inner divine beauty. Maybe others will then become less afraid to be themselves because you have shown them that being cool is about being cool with who you are, refusing to be stereotyped by people with insufficient imagination. There's power in the freedom of not fitting in. You, rather than someone else, get to decide how you want to live your life. Relish it. To be creative with it. You are meant to, to be set free to express yourself authentically and to be seen doing it. So claim your inner rock star and strut your soul stuff in the world. Play some rock music or some kind of music that you can rock around in your lounge room, in the park, on the beach, or in your bedroom in private, in public, however you feel it. Let yourself express you. Dance the way you want to dance. Extra points if it's not a, if it's not a music video. Sing if you want. Challenge and love yourself enough to practice being completely you. All right, so you can cut out there if you'd like. No problem. I am perfectly fine with that. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your participation. And if you want the extended version, it will be coming up next. Thank you.